The Honorable Member for Battle River Crowfoot. Madam Speaker, the Deputy Prime Minister's misleading and blind partisan rhetoric over the last week is quite something. It was recently pointed out to me that their attitude is like that of an irresponsible student who only when faced with a deadline and possible failure in a class realizes their actions have consequences. But instead of taking responsibility, they are simply blaming others, blaming the system and screaming it's simply not fair. Their condescending attitude abdicates the responsibility they have to serve Canadians. It's time to end the, to end the excuses and grow up. Will these Liberals take responsibility for their failures? The Honourable Minister. Uh, Madam Speaker, I find it uh, bizarre the Honourable Member is uh, pointing the finger on blind uh, partisan arguments when he seems to ask a question without a real subject other than gen a generic allegation about the government's failures. Uh, let me tell him about the government's work. We launched one of the most ambitious pandemic responses, both from a public health and economic point of view. We are leading the world when it comes to the number of Canadians who have received their first dose, and we have protected millions of Canadians' jobs. We have 9 million families keep food on the table and a roof over their heads with CERB. We've had about 5 million Canadians been kept on payroll as a result of the wage subsidy. We have a plan that's going to kickstart this recovery if only the Conservatives would Member stop. For